Okay, here I have another function that involves a logarithm. I want to find its derivative. So the first thing I do is look at the structure of this function, and it looks like some function u to the fourth power. Well, I know if y is equal to u to the fourth power, then the derivative of y with respect to x is going to be 4u to the third power times the derivative of u with respect to x. So notice that base doesn't change right there. And then I look at u, and it looks like some function logarithm of z. So if I say u is equal to the log of z, then the derivative of u with respect to x is 1 over z times the derivative of z with respect to x. So this really is just what I'm thinking when I look at this right here. So I want to just be able to find the derivative, but I think like this because I want to notice the structure of this function. So let's go ahead and differentiate f prime of x is going to be equal to, okay, u to the fourth power is going to be 4 times that base, natural log, 3x. See, I don't change the base to a power 1 less. Then I differentiate the base, so I'm going to multiply times the derivative of natural log 3x, which is going to be 1 over 3x. And then I differentiate the 3x with respect to x, and that's going to be just 3. Now I can divide out those threes right there, and I end up with 4 times natural log 3x all to the third power, all divided by x. So we call this the chain rule because we're just chaining these derivatives together like this. We keep differentiating until we get really dx dx, which is just 1. So it's u to the fourth power, and that derivative is going to be 4 times u to the third power, times the derivative of u, and that's going to be 1 over 3x, times the derivative of 3x, which is just 3. So there's my chain rule. I've just chained those derivatives together like that, and this is the derivative of this original function here.